to the doctor. Hello, Mr. Barker. I want to know how dog rubs love fun. Death question there from, from James Crabb, who's age seven and lives in Southfield in London. Well, the most obvious answer is they have twice as many legs as human beings. <laughs> no, but obviously that's not the only reason. As you can see, some dogs can't run all that fast at all. Oh, do you mind? Doctor, how am I doing? Um, well, you've done just under a kilometre. In how long? Um, an hour and a half. Yeah. And some breeds don't run so much as lollop. Interestingly enough, the fastest dog isn't the largest, as you would imagine. No, it's the Greyhound. And they have remarkable acceleration from a standing start and can run 100 meters in just five seconds. That's twice as fast as the fastest human. <laughs> this is mainly due to the Greyhound's powerful legs and their light bodies. Oh, my dear Mr. Barker, you really have let the side down. <laughs> All right, then, Linford Christie. Let's see what you can do. Me? <laughs> 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 I hope that answers the question. And now, join us on a historic voyage to a time when men were men and gold was dug in Vamvar oh. Hills. So, what's the invention this week, Mr. Barker? It's denim jeans. Ooh, let's hit, hit the chicken button. button. <laughs> My name is Strauss, Lord Strauss, and I have come all the way from Germany to be in wonderful America. I have been in San Francisco and New York selling dry goods, but now I have come to California to be part of the gold rush. I am selling tents. <clears throat> I am selling tents. <laughs> Thank you. I am selling tents to the gold miners, as sometimes they are away working in the hills, and in the evening, it can get very chilly. Excuse me. <clears throat> ten, ten, get your tents here. Be the envy of all your neighbors. Tents, tents, get your fashionable blue fabric tents. Tents, sir, tents. Oh, you tents. <laughs> I'll say I'm tents. I've been here nearly a month now, and I've struck nothing more than my thumb. <laughs> Not tense, tense. Maybe it is my accent. Tense. Excuse me, madam. Sir. Did you say you had pants? Not pants, tense. It is my accent. Oh, that's a doggone shame because pants don't wear more than a week here in the diggings. Are you sure you've got no pants? No pants, just tense. Sorry. No. What am I going to do with all my tents? Pants! Excuse me, I have to find a chicken with some scissors. Loeb hot-footed him back to San Francisco and found a tailor. He explained the prospector's pant problem and had him make up trousers out of the heavy-duty blue fabric. Back at the gold mines, the new trousers sold like hotcakes. Then news of their success reached another tailor in Nevada by the name of Jacob Davis. Jacob had invented a special metal rivet that made the pockets on trousers stronger. And pockets were very important to miners, as that's where they kept their gold. In the 1930s, because of complaints that the rivet damaged chairs and saddles, the ones at the rear were taken off. And nothing much changed after that, except for the customers. Oh, uh, the miners disappeared along with the gold, but now everybody wants my trousers! <laughs> well, not my trousers, my trousers, oh, you know what I mean. Lumberjacks, cowboys, railroad men, anybody who needs a good sturdy pair of jeans. <laughs> then something extraordinary happened. They became fashionable, and it wasn't just workers who were buying Levi Strauss's pants. Uh, yes, he changed his name. It was everyone and anyone with legs. So the most popular item of clothing in the entire world turns out to be... Tense. It's a funny old world, isn't it?
Well, that's it for this week, and what a pet show it's been. Yes, all of the questionnaires on today's show get a T-shirt a little bit like this one. Yes, they certainly do, and if you've a question you want to send in, here's the address to send it to. Dear Mr Barker... P.O. Box 1545... <laughs> London W12 6 D for a biscuit. Ooh. See you very soon on Dear Mr. Barker. Bye bye. bye. bye.